That sounds awesome. Hey guys, Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We are at Winter NAM 2019 in Anaheim, California, talking to Nick at Crazy Tube Circuits, another awesome Greek pedal maker here at the show. Um, we met you guys years ago downstairs. You're upstairs now. You're moving up in the world, man. It's true, yeah. <laughs> uh, the company's doing good. We're doing good. You guys have three new pedals here at the show. Yep. It sounded awesome on the way in, by the way. We heard, I think, a combination of pedals at the top of the video, right? Yeah. We heard uh, the limelight um, for fuzz, and then uh, both three um, time-based effects on the sidekick. So chorus, delay, and a shimmer algorithm of the verb. Okay, let's start with the limelight, talking about that. Now, I mean, fuzzes are obviously having, like, having a huge come back now like everyone's making fuzzes and uh, that's great because i love fuzz but this is kind of unusual not that many people are doing you know basically reissues or a new take on the maestro these days it, I, that's what this is right well yeah it's 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 not quite a, a maestro fuzz um but it can do that that nice maestro gated vintage fuzz sounds um and then uh you can use the beam knob to morph um, the unit into um, um, more more of a like a zong machine sounds like tone bender one, oh. or or you can even go to more modern fuzz distortion sounds. Okay. But so. Maestro was one of the instrument uh, yeah. one of the <laughs> inspirations. I can't talk. Exactly. Exactly. It's it's Maestro inspired. Was it like the FC one A or is it just Maestro in general? Yeah, yeah, it's Maestro in general, I think, and uh, it's uh, it's got three new old stock germanium transistors in there that we use. Um, it's all three germanium, you said? Yeah. Okay. Now at the top, did you have the gain cranked? Yes. And the beam was set. It's like at ten o'clock. So that what is that doing? Well, it's it's basically um, towards the more the this setting is towards the more gated vintage sounds. Okay. So if if I if I were to turn the beam all the way to left, and, and I would then you get, and you brought the gain back a little bit too. Yeah. Now, how does it sound if we bring beam all the way up? Let's do that. <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> now, a lot of, I mean, one of the interesting things about fuzz is or at least old school ones is there's the knobs are so interactive but then there are a lot of fuzzes being made these days that you know people are making them more linear where each knob just does what you what it says right is this one that where if you crank the volume it really changes the response of the other knobs um well um actually we didn't have a chance to crank the volume here let's let's, well, let's do, do it and find out <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be mad if I reach down and change some no, settings while you play? Go ahead. Go Nice. That's everything cranked yeah. now. You're yeah. welcome. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> now, what do you want? To, should we go on to the Falcon now? Yeah, sure. So the Falcon is a light overdrive, and uh, its sounds are inspired by the um, early small vintage amps. So like a, a brown face. Yeah, like a brown face Princeton on the 61 setting, or a, a Tweed Deluxe on the 55 setting. Okay. So let's do. So it's got output, tone, and volume yeah. knobs. Well, volume and tone are actually um, uh, are, are, are modeled after the, the actual uh, volume and tone of the amps. Okay. And then output is like a master output of the pedal. 
so a volume and tone will behave as you would expect it on a, on on those amps. So the volume is almost like a gain control, exactly. and the output yeah. is just volume. Yeah, the output is like a master volume, like your your console fader. Okay, so, so now we've got volume at three o'clock, output at ten, and tone at yeah. two, and we're on the fifty-five side. <laughs> Sounds great, man. Cleans up really nice. Um, if I bring the volume down. It adds a nice compression, even, even though it's not really distorted. But then you can get it to really break up. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we just got busted by the sound for <laughs> <laughs> Can so. we have like five minutes? I'll be five minutes, literally. All right, okay. They're not going for it, man. They're not being persuaded for five more minutes. No, well. Um, all right. <laughs> Sounds, sounds, sounds great. Yeah, okay. And we got the idea, I think. And let's do the 61 setting then. A bit more headroomy, less drive. Yeah. Is it me or is it a little more compressed too? It, it, yeah. You well, can tell me I'm wrong. Is right? No, no, it's you're not wrong. It's a little bit more compressed. It's just I, th I think on the 55 setting, you can hear the like the speaker no. break up. Okay. Yeah, a bit more, and that yeah. Do you want to do another setting on 61 mode, or should we move on? Yeah, let's let's do the volume a bit lower. Let's make a like a. All right, should we move on to the sidekick? Sure. Yeah. So you guys described this as like a, the eight. Well, was it uh, instant was eighties? It, I don't yeah. know. Police in a box. Said. <laughs> yeah, police in a box. Instant eighties. That's why how he's he's been um, going um, uh, describing it to people. Um, Christos is the the brains behind the pedals, and he doesn't want to be on camera, so he's over there watching them. <laughs> So yeah, I would I would uh, more blatantly describe it as a, um, a time-based effects fly rig. So um, what you get there is um, is a very nice analog chorus. You get a, the blue section. The right? Blue section, sure. Then we have the the white section, which is a, a delay. Uh, that's like a, a stripped down, simplified version of our time, of our delay. Okay. And then we have um, a reverb section with three algorithms. That include um, Exciter, which is like the, the famous Exciter algorithm from Splash. Okay. Um, I say famous, I, I hope it's famous. <laughs> if not, go check it out. Um, then we have a, a plate, um, uh, a plate reverb, yeah, which is a bit shorter. It's got more of a roomy uh, kind of sound. And then we've developed a new shimmer alg algorithm, which we've included in the sidekick. Now, when we at the beginning of the video, you had shimmer on, right? Yeah. Now I got to say, uh, some people will probably hate me for this, but I've sh shimmer reverb has become a big thing. What the last eight, nine, ten years or whatever, and, and that's cool. I've never been a huge fan of it, but I thought it sounded whatever you guys did at the top. That shimmer sounded really cool to me. Sometimes. Shimmer sounds cheesy to me, but that didn't sound cheesy. It's I'll, I'll agree with you, Sean, 100%. I'm not a fan of, of Shimmer. 
that that shimmer sounds really good though um, and the reason that why I like splash so much is because it doesn't have shimmer <laughs> it has that excited algorithm which can do the pad like uh, sounds without having the those harsh frequencies um, should we go through some of those effects individually yeah sure I just wanted to add though that that um, together with side, sidekick comes with uh, three separate outputs uh, so you have an instrument output you had you have a headphones out with a dedicated headphones amp then you have a di out both xlr yeah xlr and both headphones and di out um, come with a speaker simulator that can be engaged okay and like a 412 or? yeah yeah standard uh, 412 okay. um, uh, V30, I think. Vintage 30s. Yeah. Okay. Um, you have a minus 15 dB pad and a ground lift. So is the minus 50 dB pad. What would the application for that be? Well, if, you, if you're going out uh, uh, on the mixer house, or board, yeah, um, the front of house, uh, maybe um, you're coming in too hot. You can okay. use that. And, okay, so there's what are the other two push buttons? Oh, that that's uh, a button that lets you choose between chorus and flanger or flanger and then we have um, a button here that will engage uh, DI and headphones output okay. all right all right what are we gonna hear next let's do the chorus What it internally? How are the effects routed? What order does it go in? It it goes from chorus to delay and from delay to reverb and then so out right to left. Yeah. Okay, makes right. sense. Yeah. So next is the delay. Yeah. So we have um, time to set the the delay time. More is the mix and then tail is the feedback. <laughs> So the knobs are time, tail, and more. more. Is tail basically feedback? Ta yes, tail is feedback. And what does more mean? Is that a tone knob? No, it's a mix knob. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. Mess too much with the sound police. Um, yeah. Right, that sounds great. Should we yeah. do the reverb now? Yeah. So reverb, simple, very simple. Two knobs, mix and excite. So excite, we've, we've actually uh, sort of um, put together like three of um, uh, two of the um, of the splash knobs. So you get um, both decay and pre delay and a bit of filtering with excite. So. Let's do the. That's the the splash uh, algorithm. That's really cool. As I said, I love that algorithm because it can do that pad sound without having the shimmer effect. Um, let's let's hear the shimmer though. 
since we're discussing so about what you. is the difference between those two modes like it's because that was like you said the exciter uh, mode had kind of a shimmery sound so yeah. what changes when you go over to the actual shimmer mode you get it's got more of a sigh to it yeah you get those high frequencies dialed in in the in the tail Sounds really good. Yeah. And then we have the the plate algorithm, which, uh, which is, uh, as I said, room roomy. Now, is, is the excite knob not active in the two modes that no, are? No, they're, it's, it's active in all modes. It's active, yeah, yeah. So, as I said, excite combines decay and pre-delay and a bit of filtering okay. so we can go to a really short reverb or a bit longer hall hall maybe but this is basically designed so that yeah, if if for example you go in directly into the front of house yeah. you you get a sort of room yeah. <laughs> a natural feel for your um, for your tone Nice. Now, is the volume of the upper left, that's just master output or something? No, that's uh, headphones out. Ah, so okay. That's headphone amp. Okay. That's a headphone amp, yeah. What, you want to just dial in something super crazy and take us out? Yeah, Tell people sure. where to go online first to check out? So, sure. Uh, you can go online on uh, our website, www.crazytubecircuits.com. Um, you'll um, uh, learn everything about our new stuff and the old stuff. Um, oh, do you have prices on these yet, before I forget? Well, yeah. Um, Limelight is coming out by the mid of February. It's going to go for 189 euros, that is. Falcon is already out for 169 euros. So, do you have the US prices for us boneheads? Um, I'm not quite sure. Uh, Just add a few bucks to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you'll... Yeah, yeah, you'll find them at the bottom. Okay. And Sidekick is going to go, uh, it's going to come out by the, I think, the end of spring, early summer maybe. It's going to go for two ninety nine introductory price. Cool. All right, so crazytubecircuits.com and then premierguitar.com and then Nick's going to play us out here with some crazy shit. Okay.